Hey everyone, Magic Flying Potato here, and I am trying out, giving a first look at uh, Salt 2, Chores of Gold. Never played the original game, but I uh, was given this key to try this one out, and I definitely love the way this world looks. It's a very intriguing looking game. I, I am really looking forward to playing some more of this. Go ahead and grab some of these things. Up there at the top right corner is the quest that I am doing right now. So I'm going to read the note on the table. So it's uh, just pretty much saying if I'm reading this, I didn't die. And I found you on a shipwreck barely clinging to life. Uh, unfortunately, I have somewhere to need to be. And there's a cave up north with some supplies in it to build a raft and get off this island. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, do they say where to go? Maybe can help you upgrade better vessel. Okay, so they're trying to get us to a town that we can talk to a cartographer to upgrade our ship and do other things. Let's go ahead and drop this, grab this compass, the sextant, which is used to find the coordinates. I like, I like the way they have that. Um, so let me go ahead and check out my, so you got this, this, uh, this wheel right here and the way we can add things i think um i put my uh okay so over here down at the bottom left you see this uh one two three the uh the hot keys if you hover your mouse or your controller over that and hit the button uh like one it will populate it down in the hot keys this is the user interface so we got the map Pretty good, and, and these worlds are procedurally generated, so everybody kind of gets a different experience when they're playing. So, and I I scrolled through all the worlds, and there were a ton of them. So you definitely got choices uh, when playing the game. Go over to inventory. So this is the inventory. It shows puts the rarity up top. You got the option of doing that. Armor, food, ships, uh, recipes. This is your crafting items keys so this is the map when i first started playing i did not understand how to find this town location so you have to come over here to this map and i think um you click on it and you click waypoint so it will yes so we'll put it on your map the first time i was playing i was totally lost i'm like i don't know where to go and i don't know where this island is at because there was no markings but i uh, i saw jade plan and saw that he clicked that little map and it put the x on there so that is very helpful so with the sextant let's go ahead and click the three button you just hold it up you you click it and it shows that what location i'm at and if i click on the map right there is where i'm at it circles where you're at whenever you do that and I know over here, because this is north, I think that's north, yep. If you look at the compass, this is north. We're going to head north because there is a cave up here that we need to get to. And it is right here. Sandy Grotto. Go ahead and loot some more things. And as you loot, you gain experience. Right here is a little cooking crafting station. So if you come here, you got your items that can be cooked. You have... You have this right here shows if I had anything that shows up here, I have the items that I can craft. Here's the uh, food and there are potions as well, uh, aka health and stamina. But I don't have enough things to do that, so here's some bottles. Grab some bottles. Got some hidden things out here. We're going to go ahead and enter this cave and uh, check out what's going on in here. So the, the quest is updated. Let's go over and check out what they say to do. It says I should look for supplies in the cave to build a raft and head back to the campsite. So loot the supply chest. That's empty. That's empty. Bananas. Adventures in entry. Okay, so most of the entries in this journal are illegible, except for one final note scribble hastily. I found a cave according to my sources. There's a hidden alcove, which is a little area that's hidden on an island with treasure in there in here somewhere apparently the breakable boulder of some kind the note was cleared the dead man points the way what does that mean though wait i hear something sounds like growling i don't i don't see anything growling go ahead and, and what's nice too is things that can be lootable they they shine see they have that that gold outline that's empty. This has a bunch of stuff in it. So when you open things up, if you just want to take everything, just hold your F, your, your, so on keyboard, it's F key. Just hold it down and it takes everything. Back here is another chest. I know it's very dark back here. 36 copper. I think I already looted those. Oh, did I grab a, hang on, let me look. Where's my, where's my, there we go. Put that there on four. 
Did I hear something in here? Here's some mushrooms. Grab some more mushrooms. And some... There's our little pickaxe. With this one, it's a basic one, so you can uh, just mine these copper stones that have the little copper blobs on them. Open that. Take some gold. Uh, gold. That's not gold, that's copper. Oh, there's the bear. The bears. Eh. 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 He's not too hard to fight. This, this beginning one is very easy, doesn't do much damage. So there's no real worry about dying with that one. I guess it just gives you a uh, sample of, of how to how to fight recipes. Throughout your adventure, you discover crafting recipes. Interact with these recipes in your inventory. Learn craft. So you can also see all you can also see all learned recipes and known recipe section in the pause menu. You track any recipe. Okay, cool, cool. Wanders boots, hat, shirt. Go ahead and grab those. Go into our here they are. Are those them? Yeah, and the way you learn these is you just click on them like that and it tells you what it is can be crafted from the weaving station and then click learn and it will remove it from your inventory just like this just like this and I think somewhere down here some known recipes yeah so right here when you get to a um, crafting a, a weaving station it tells you the ingredients that you need down here and uh, you can craft things. And if you hold the space bar on keyboard, you can track the item. Explore the cave some more. I like, I like, it. I love the graphics on it. It's, I, I do like the game Sea of Thieves, like I was saying before, but um, it is just the multiplayer aspect of Sea of Thieves. I've always said I wish that I could do a single player or a PVE version of that game. So I guess this is, this is what's, uh. This is, this is it. This is, it's, it's single player, but let's go ahead and open this chest. Item talents. Many, many equipable items such as armor weapons have talents that you can customize. Inspect an item to see the talent tree. Talents on the items are randomized when they are dropped or crafted. So everything that you make and stuff, it, 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 you got a random roll of, of talents that it, it is gets. It, it, it is gets? That doesn't make any sense. Go ahead and grab that. Wow. Let's we'll see. We got a bunch of stuff in here. I like that. So let's go ahead and loot all. So I know I in my inventory I do have. Do they have an, a show all? I know they did. Where's it at? Anyways, I know I picked up a tunic. So right there, if you click on it, it will equip it. So now I have this plus two construction, plus three armor, one talent remaining. Inspect item talents. I don't know how to inspect it though. Basic. All right. But oh no, I didn't. Okay, so there. Now it's now it's equipped. And I knew I have arrows, so go ahead and click on that and uh, equip them. I don't think I have anything else to equip, and I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. I, I kind of wish we could just walk through those entrances instead of hitting a button to get out. Would be nice. Health potions are crucial to surviving co uh, combat. You can hotkey health potions by hovering over them and pressing one of the hotkey buttons, one for pull or R to D-pad direction on your gamepad. And you can craft them right here at the cooking station. So, bam. See, so right here, like I was saying before, this is the check mark. So these are the items that I am able to craft. Let's go ahead and craft uh, some bear meat. And again, cooking increases your, your level as well. Uh, yeah, we'll craft the health potion. Herb Herbalisms. Okay, so uh, you gain experience in different aspects of the game. So this is my cooking. There we go. I leveled up in cooking. I'm a level one cook. That means I can burn toast. And let's see. Oh, here's some more. Is that copper? Doesn't tell you what it is, I think, until you start uh, hitting on it. And then once you start learning it, then you'll then you'll understand what it is. Uh, anything back here? Is that more, more copper right here? Yeah, that's copper. Um, so I know there's a, I ran across earlier, I ran across, there's a little shack out here. So I'm going to try to find that shack again. Where's it at? There it is. That copper, what is this? Yeah, it is. Oh, did I find oil? There's a dude open. What's he say? Human bone. Do we want human bones? Kind of gross, but we'll take it. Okay, so I think, yeah. Grab this little guy's bottles. Open that bag. It is empty. Grab that empty bottle. What does this say? The rum is gone. 
Why is the rum always gone? Can't even remember where I hid the key to storage shed. I feel like it was on a stone. No. A tomb? No. A tombstone. Yeah, that was it. Wait, I need another drink first. All right. So, got to find tombstone. Tombstone, how do I uncrouch? Okay, there we go. Pick up some raw deer meat because who doesn't like to pick up meat that's been laying around on a table in the sun for who knows how long because that guy was a skeleton. So that meat has been laying there for a long time. Right there, tombstone. Bam, grab that key. Is there anything else around this house? Is there anything on top of the house? Can I get on top of the house? Oh, wait, here's, here's, boom, clam. Grab that, grab that. My suggestion is uh, starting out, just grab all the bottles you can, because when I first started playing, I never grabbed the bottles. I'm like, what do I need empty bottles for? They're used to make all kinds of things for cooking in potions, so make sure you grab those. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Door is unlocked. Got what? Rope? Yeah, definitely need rope. Get these empty rub, rum bottles. Oh, boo. Let's go ahead and grab this adventure's... Sneak by pressing C on the keyboard or right thumbstick on the gamepad by default. You'll be sneaking attacks, deal extra damage to unaware enemies. You also make no noise when you move. And land sneak attacks at range while using... Okay, so there we go. Bow. Can we take candles? No. Can we open this? More arrows. All right. And a lockpick. Sweet. There's something making that rug just doesn't seem... I want to read that book. That book is probably important, but can't read it. All right, let's see. Where is... Oh, there's my bow. Adventurous bow. Is it equipped? There we go. Now it's equipped. Okay, so let's head back. It says return to the camp. Oop, <laughs> forgot where my camp is. I think it's south of where I'm at. Let's see. Where is my compass? Three, two, nope. Yeah, we'll head south. I think it is south. Oh, there's a deer. Okay, let's see if I can... See if I can do this. Bow, crouch, not making any noise. I've missed. Got him. <laughs> he didn't take much damage, though. I mean, he doesn't have much. Da what? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and loot him. Do I get my arrow back? I want my arrow back. Is there an arrow around him? No. What? Aha! Okay, found my camp. Alright, so the uh, quest is updated. It says New Beginnings cr uh, Raft Crafted. So we're going to craft the raft. Can I pick this rope up? Or is that... Oh, it can pick it up. Go ahead and craft this raft. Here we go right here. Again, check mark means things that you can craft. Craft it. So the raft is crafted. It says place your raft from your inventory and find the cartographer at the coordinates using the map you found on the table. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head over to the water. It is becoming dark too. And the inventory. Okay, here's the raft. So we're going to go ahead and just hit F to place it. Boom, it's right there. I got to swim out to it. There's ladders on the side, so we climb. If you fall off your raft or something, you uh, that's the way you do it. All right, so we need to go. What is this? South, southwest, south, southeast, southeast. That direction. So we're gonna skirt to the right of that island. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, let's not do this. Got to put the sail to turn. Ships can be found. Inventory place interacting. There is no need to worry about beaching your ship. Interact with the item to redeploy it. Nice. Once you obtain a ship, you always have it available and you can deploy it wherever you wish. Near water. That is cool. So we don't have to, like, go back and find your ship. You just redrop it wherever you're at. And you just ram it up onto land and not worry about it getting squished. Squished? Generating islands. All right, so let me get off this wheel and we'll go ahead and take a coordinate of where we're at. Boom. We're at 1 east, 0 south. 
So right there is where we started off at, I think. Zero, zero. Oh, so it automatically updated my location? Yeah, it did. Because we were right here, so now we're here. So I gotta go south. Alright, so steer. Guess that's south. I am feeling some, uh, I'm feeling some lag when it when it generates islands. I'm heading in the right direction. Is that the island right there? I think it should be right in front of me. Or is it that one right there? Where is that? That's that's east. East. Uh, that's one. It's right where the moon is at. All right. Oh, look, my. Oh wait, is that? Wait, is it in front of me? It'd be directly in front of me. Is that the island right there? It is dark. It is very dark. I apologize for this. Well, I, I hit land. Oh, what's up here? Something up here? Oh, so I found a refuge. Here it is. And if I can find a place to sleep, I shall have it. Here we go. Alright, so I have rested and it is now morning time, I think. And I am at the... Alright, so this must be the refuge, but my quest in an update. What is this? Take that? No. Can't take that. Oh, cartographer. Okay. Let's go ahead and go in here. Talk to this dude. You got the look of a new sailor about you. Are you looking for a master navigator to take you under his wing? Yes. Do you see a master navigator anywhere? That'll be ridiculous. You're looking at one. This hair didn't get beautiful from sunshine alone. <laughs> they, got, they got jokes in the game. You only get these curls with salt of the sea, but I digress. I will help you become a respectable sailor. Okay, what do I need to do? First sailor. First, a sailor doesn't sail a dingy old raft. A dingy old raft. You'll need a proper ship and why not? Go with good old wave skipper. Yes, let's go with the wave skipper. It's a fantastic ship for young old sailors design. Last century navigator named Bertram. The ship was originally crafted with. I don't need the history lesson. <clears throat> I see I get carried away sometimes. My apologies. At any rate, you'll need lots of materials to craft it. I'll be willing to give you the supplies if you do something for me first. What do they call it? Quid pro quo. Fine. What do you need? Some sneaky pesty pirates. Stole favorite compass. Did a murder them. Yeah, okay. Find the compass. Plain and simple. It's a deal. All right. Oh, in here, I'll give you a map to the pirate island. Might be a good place to check. Just before the coordinates. Should go find some pirates, provide you haven't already slain them all. If you have, you can check other pirates on the island you find. Ah, okay, so use your raft for now. Oh, and don't forget, you can craft a sh craft a Don't forget, once you craft a ship, it stays in your inventory. That means you can place it in the water as many times as you like. Good luck. Continue. Awesome. All right, so can I steal any of this? Oh, he's got an axe. Can I steal any of this guy's stuff? So I'm going to go ahead and call this one right here in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and get the compass that he was talking about getting so we can get that new ship and continue on with the game. And uh, I'm enjoying this a lot and I hope you are too. And if you are enjoying this content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Really appreciate it. Don't ask about this. I don't know where I found it. I had it for like 100 years and I'm like, hey, pirate game, put it on. Anyways, uh... You guys have a great time out there exploring the high seas by yourself and enjoy your journey. And I am Magic Flying Potato. And until next time, I am Oot.